I'm not being funny, but if I've got to give a porn website my driving license or passport information for ID, I ain't watching it, because I just don't trust that stuff. But fortunately, there's a way around it, and I'm going to show you that loophole right now. So, if you're in a country where porn is blocked, you know that you'll have to enter some seriously confidential information in order to gain access. So, to avoid that, we're going to trick the system into thinking we're viewing from another country. And to do this, we're going to be using something called a virtual private network, also known as a VPN. So, with a VPN, it's going to allow you to connect to a virtual network somewhere else around the world. So, what this means is, when you're connected to the internet, you're basically going to connect to this virtual network, which is going to encrypt your data and make it unreadable. From this virtual network, it's then going to send the data to the website, for example, a porn website, and it's going to think that you're browsing from another country, and it's going to completely change your identity online, so you're going to be anonymous. The premium VPN I personally like to use is called Private Internet Access, and the reason why I like to use it is because they've got 3,000 servers in 32 different countries, so there's plenty of places to choose from. Also, they have fast internet connection speeds, and they don't store any traffic logs, so this basically means they don't store any data about your activity online, which they can't sell to third party advertisers, which is exactly what free VPNs do, so you are truly anonymous online. Also, you can use private internet access on 10 different devices at once, so you can also download this for iPhone, Android and your tablet, and again, you can find it in the link below. So, once you've got private internet access installed and set up, it's going to look something like this, and it's going to look very similar on your Mac or mobile device if you are using it on there. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose a VPN server from a country where the porn website or whatever website it may be is not blocked. So I like to personally use Ireland because it's close by and it's a very fast server as you can see. Once you've done that you want to go ahead and click on the big power button and it's going to go ahead and connect you to that server and make you anonymous online. So just give it a couple of seconds to do that. Now once your VPN is activated you notice that's going to give you a new IP address starting with 23 or whatever number it may be. What you want to do is go into your Google Chrome browser, whatever browser you're using, and type in what's my IP. And you want to make sure that this IP address matches up to the one on your VPN. If it does, that means it's working successfully. So once we've done that, the last step is very easy, and we just need to go to the porn website of choice, or whatever website that is unblocked. And you want to make sure that you can, when you go to Google Chrome, or whatever web browser you use, you want to use incognito mode just for that extra layer of security. So we're just going to go onto the porn website right now. And as you can see, the speeds are very quick, and they're exactly the same as your default internet connection. So, if this video is helpful, please leave a like, and pass on to someone who may find it helpful as well. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below, and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day.